All right, so here in front of me, I have a Dell PowerEdge R720XD server. And we're gonna see if you can use this server as a workstation. So this is gonna be quite an interesting video. I have no idea what is to come because I just hooked it up and I hooked up drives that have a normal old copy of Windows on it. And the definition that I'm giving of workstation is we are gonna to try to use this for general purpose computing instead of what it's meant to be used as, which is a server. So I'm gonna boot this thing up and let's hope it actually boots up. It seems to be working fine. So when we are in a copy of Windows, or maybe this thing won't even boot at all, I have no idea, like I said, uh, what is to come of this. Uh, so let's just see what happens. So we are at the login window. Just turn the monitor a little bit so it's easier for me to use the machine. I hope that's the right password. I actually have no idea what the password for this account is. Okay, so now that I have logged this in, we are on a uh, completely unactivated copy of Windows that basically doesn't have anything on it. Um, and uh, just set up stock. I think I changed with the wallpaper. That's about it. And we can see I've got a little bit of uh, stuff on here. Now, the thing that I want to try to do first is do... I don't know, some web browsing and just see if this works. So we can load the OBS website just fine. So you know, web browsing seems to work just from what I just tested. Uh, we can try launching OBS. Now, the thing that you'll notice is that I'm working off a four by three, 1280 by 1024 monitor. And we are gonna try to rectify that here in a minute. But we can see that OBS is working just fine. We can go at 60 frames per second. Let's see what happens if we start recording. Yep, we are still getting 60 frames per second. Let's open Task Manager and see. Oh, we're dropping a few frames there. Um, here are all 32 threads of the CPU and all 16 gigabytes of RAM, which we are utilizing very well. We're only using 30%, uh, but the CPU usage is very decent, so we are not using a ton of resources here. So that is good. I mean, I'm noticing choppiness around the OS, but that's just because we have like eight megabytes of VRAM or whatever. So that's great. We could use this as uh, just sort of a general purpose computer. As we can see, web browsing works just fine. OBS sort of works uh, with the exception of the uh, few drop frames that we were experiencing at the beginning when we started recording. Now you'll notice that the fans are also pretty loud and I installed this little fan controller. It does not work because uh, servers do not control fans on the hardware. They are controlled over IPMI and so we would have to figure out how to get IPMI to work on the server, which I have not been successful with for whatever reason, uh, but that's a whole different video about how that doesn't work. Uh, but we would have to get IPMI to work first before we were actually able to control these fans. But from what I understand, there are commands that you can run in the IPMI interface to control the fan speed. So, great. Uh, if we try to go to configure, we can see that all of these things are controlled with IPMI uh, and the fans are all controlled with IPMI. There is no way we can set a value for the fan. We can double click, it doesn't do anything. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my cinema display and we are going to hook up a video card and see if we can rectify the 4x3 resolution problem here.
So I've got the cinema display all plugged in and everything. Well, except for plugging the server, obviously. But uh, we are going to install this video card here. This is a R7-250 video card, which should work. I'm not certain, obviously, because I have never tried this. So there are... How do you remove the riser card from this? Oh, actually, never mind. It's not a riser card. I'm used to my HP Proliant. Okay, so this can just pop into one of many X16 slots. And we do have PCIe power. We are able to power a six pin graphics card. Let me get this in. Yep, I think that's, yep, looks good. So I'm gonna hook up uh, everything else and see what happens. Okay, will we get a video signal? I think I have everything connected. So let's just see. I have not heard the R7250 spin up because it's pretty loud. I can usually hear it when I turn on a system. Oh, okay, well, that alone is going to make it hard to use this. Uh, uh, let's see if the fans keep being this loud, because if they do, then I think that alone is going to make this project unsuccessful, so we'll just see what happens. So, we are booting into a copy of Windows, but there, as you can see, is still no video on the... Uh, do I seriously have to reboot this again? Well, I guess I'll be waiting another 10 minutes for this thing to post, because it does take a long time. So, uh, I don't know. Okay, if this shuts off again, I'm honestly giving up because I don't have time for this thing to just reboot over and over again. But let's see. The fans are still loud. So uh, I think that alone is pretty much a deal breaker. But let's just see what happens because this is still booting. So I guess we'll just wait for this to boot. And what do you know? Oh, wait. Oh, it's not stuck. Oh, it's stuck. Okay. Ah, there's... Whoa, okay. The light on the cinema display went off, so I think there's going to be video, but this is, like, actually ear-splitting noise to have to deal with. So let me just wait for this thing to get to the login window. So this is an interesting message, updating your system. I guess that's doing system updates, but it doesn't look like the normal Windows updates, so I don't know. Nothing to worry about, just something interesting I found as I've been waiting. Yay, so we actually have um, video on the cinema display. I guess the only bad thing is it has to reboot yet again. Uh, but at this point, uh, at least there's video on the cinema display, so I'm just going to see what happens here. Uh, seems like the fans are calming down, but I think they'll probably ramp back up when it boots into the OS, just because that's how servers work. You stick in a video card and they ramp up. I was kind of expecting that was going to happen on this system, and it did. So, uh, there we go. Let's just wait for this thing to boot up again. Oh, and by the way, just something that I've noticed, and this is actually perfect timing because it's about to boot into, into Windows, um, but one thing that I noticed just off camera was the fact that you have to have the monitor connected to the integrated port because if you don't, uh, there is no video 
with a video card. So that's sort of interesting. I don't know why that is, um, but just something interesting that I found. So let's just see. Uh, there should be video once this thing boots. Um, and it looks like it's just about to do that. Or maybe there's one more round of updates. I'm not quite sure. Yep, looks like we've got another round of updates here. I This is the thing that's so annoying about Windows Update is the fact that it just updates without even asking you. Mac OS will at least ask you if you want to update. That is just so annoying and one of the reasons why I don't use a PC as my main computer. One of many reasons, but yep. So we have video on both monitors. Let's just go to Task Manager and at least it made the second monitor, the cinema display, my main monitor for me. That's kind of nice, to be totally honest. I didn't have to do that myself. Uh, yeah, very low GPU usage, very low CPU usage. So it's working great, except for the fans. If there was a way to calm those down to idle, that would be really nice. But I cannot, for the life of me, get the iDRAC to work on this server, but again, I might just have to do a whole video about that because um, that is a complicated problem, but uh, yeah, we can see that we are getting the full 1680 by 1050 resolution, and I don't even think we have GPU drivers, or maybe we do, I don't know. Oh yeah, we do have GPU drivers, it looks like. Um, I don't know if they will open, because in my experience, GPU drivers almost never open. Oh, yep. Like I thought was going to happen. Anyway, whatever. And it looks like those are even Radeon Pro drivers. I don't know what this drive used to be in, but apparently it was a system with a Radeon Pro card. I, I don't remember, to be totally honest. Um... Maybe that was before I put my W5500 in my Mac Pro. I would assume that's what that was about. Um, but there we have it. So I guess a sort of final verdict, like can you use this as a workstation? I guess you could. I mean, yeah. You could use anything as a workstation, to be totally honest. Um, but the uh, the fan is obviously a deal breaker for me. There is no way I could use it with the fan this loud. Um, now, the other thing is, if you want me to like test stuff on here, I can do that uh, and and maybe even make a whole video about testing stuff. But this video is mainly just to see if it is possible to use a server as a workstation. So if there's anything that you want me to test on here, like a, a DaVinci Resolve or, or uh, like virtualization, like with uh, VirtualBox or VMware Workstation or anything like that, just put that down in the comments and, and I might do that. So, so anyway, that's it for tonight and uh, if you have any questions, comments, etc., please feel free to ask down below. So thanks for watching. Have a good night.